Welcome to Wild Aspirations, everybody. This is what we got going on. I need to remove my rear bumper cover. Why? Because I actually need to jack up my car because I can't fit the jack underneath it. <sighs> the reason I need to jack it up and put it on jack stands is because I need to replace my radiator because I broke it. How did I break it, you ask? Well, let me tell ya. All right, story time. I was backing into a parking spot in a slightly unlevel parking lot when I got high centered. I didn't panic. I've been high centered plenty of times out in the wild. I'm all about that static life. That's why I roll around with a jack in my trunk. So I put it in my car in neutral, pulled out the jack, pulled out the front bumper cover, and I jacked it up by the front bash bar. After I pulled the car forward a little bit, released the jack, the car started rolling forward. I couldn't stop it. Cars are heavy. I'm not as strong as I thought it was. <laughs> I didn't panic. It was going really slow. I thought, oh, the wheel hit the curb. It's not going to do any damage. I didn't realize that the jack was farther ahead than my wheel was. So when the jack hit the curb, my car kept rolling and sent the extended arm of the jack straight into my AC condenser and hit hard enough that it smashed into my radiator, immediately breaking it and cooling started leaking all over the place. It was a lovely time. This one is absolutely gonna be a compilation video. I don't even have my replacement radiator here. It's late, I wanna go to bed. You're gonna be seeing this over multiple days of working on this, so. Here we go. All right, you guys, we are back at it. Finally got my radiator here. I've made our to-do list. One, gotta remove the rear bumper cover. Put her up on jack stands. Do some cleaning while we're at it. Gotta remove my skid plate and um, inspect the damaged bolt for sure. I have not seen it under the car since I've really lowered it, so that'll be fun to see. Remove the cooling fan slash shroud, drain the radiator, remove it. Gotta see if we can fix the dent in the AC condenser. I wanna paint the cooling fan shroud, install the new radiator, reinstall the fan and shroud, fill it up with coolant of course, uh, then <laughs> test to see if my AC condenser still works. Repair the broken wires for my horns. Cause I smashed those up too. Let's get after it. Small garages suck. This is why I need to clean the inside rims of my wheels. I love white wheels but they get dirty, man. They get dirty. So I've already done the other side. This is what I gotta do under here in order to get the rear bumper cover off. Gotta undo that retainer, that retainer, that retainer, and undo that bolt right there. So there was one more which holds this part on. It's right at the bottom of there. So I'm gonna take that one off real quick too. the uh, bolts off from the fenders. We just have to undo the ones in the trunk. I'll show you those. So here's the trunk. There's a bolt in there, there, bolt in there. So that's what the, all four bolts look like that one. Right there, right there. And then the fourth one, right there. One. Well, there it is. 
I did it. All right. So we got it up on jack stands. There's a skid plate. And I cleaned out the back of the wheels. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Very nice. All right. <laughs> so, I just got under the car, checking out the skid plate, and um, there's some wild stuff going on over there. So, let's go take a look. Okay. So, you got these main bolts here. And then you had these little ones, they were really low profile. Till it was a hex bolt, but on some of them, as you keep going down, well, it's a uh, that to put in the uh, to put in the hex nut, it's gone. And on some, it's totally gone. Which is that that was the damaged bolt I was talking about. So we are screwed. So I don't think I'm uh, taking that skid plate off. Which hopefully that doesn't ruin my other plans. I think I can still drain the radiator and and do it, but uh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, well. Yep. Since uh, we're not taking the skid plate off, we'll get started on uh, removing the cooling fan and uh, the shroud. So it's loose, but the radiator is so dented that the back of the shroud is getting caught on the broken part. Cool. Whew. Did it. I did it. But there's some coolant in there, so I gotta pour that out. Got the uh, fan and shroud off. It hit and cracked it pretty good, but it still spins. Check out that. That is uh, supposed to be flat, obviously. So, so, yeah, that smashed that shroud into the engine mount there. So it's draining now. And uh, as you can see on the skid plate, Oh, good, look, another leak. So, gotta clean out, but yeah. Lovely. What a fun, 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 fun time. I'm gonna start undoing the bolts to the radiator so I can remove that as it's finishing draining. got my radiator out check out that dent in the AC condenser 
Oh, I pray that still works. I I am planning on replacing it, but I will. Ah. So check out, here's the radiator. That looks good, right? That's how it's supposed to be. There's a new one. It made I made a crazy it made a crazy mess that skid plate man. Drain the radiator. Remove the radiator. We're not going to fix the dent the AC can answer. I think we're just gonna get to installing the new radiator for right now. So I do have to pound in the AC condenser a little bit because my radiator doesn't fit in. We're not going to fix the dent in the AC condenser. Which makes sense now that you think about it, but. <sighs> I'm gonna try to undent it. So, we'll see. All right, so I was able to use a hammer to pound in the dented uh, AC condenser. <laughs> We're getting wild over here, man. Got the new radiator in there, so now I just need to hook up the hoses. It is past midnight. It's actually, well, it was New Year's Eve, not New Year's Day, so happy 2022, everybody. Um, boy, let's see what we got. So, I did end up painting it. I was able to get the new one in. My clamps for the hoses got a bit mangled. So, I hope they work. <laughs> this might be a mess, so I'm gonna put coolant in, so. Let's fill it up. past midnight I uh, still need to finish filling up the coolant but we'll pick this back up later so it is a couple nights later just to recap of the chaos of the other night in case it wasn't clear um, especially at one point uh, my battery died which I totally missed so missed some things I got the fan and shroud out I painted that I pulled the old radiator out after it drained tried to put the new one in and the AC condenser was so bent, I didn't, I was now able to put the new one in. So I ended up having to take a hammer and kind of smash it back into place. So there's to hoping that still works. Um, <laughs> so got the new radiator in, and while trying to reattach the hoses, uh, I could not get two of the clamps to re-clamp. Not without destroying myself or things I didn't want to destroy because of the rage that was building because of the pain and they just not working. So, um, slid the fan shroud back in uh, and said, you know what, I'll get new clamps and we'll work on this another night. Here we are, it's the next night. So we ended the other night here. We are filling up the radiator with coolant. But, like I just said, we have new stuff to do now. So we gotta remove and fix the fan and shroud. There's a pretty big crack in it, I'll show you. I think we can just super glue it back together, honestly. It's not too bad. I just don't want it coming apart with all the jarring and bouncing. After we do that, 
we're gonna put those new clamps on those radiator hoses so I know they work and I'm not gonna freaking they aren't gonna blow off while I'm driving somewhere so we're gonna do that while the glue dries after it's dried and reinstall the fan and shroud then as indicated by my lovely arrow here finish filling up the radiator after that um, the car will be running for a bit obviously to get all the bubbles out test the AC to see if I broke that then either way we got to fix my wiring for the horns in case some jerk off tries to cut me off I need to honk at them so that's what we're doing <laughs> Safety first. Ooh. Oh. So like I said, there's a crack in it that I saw. There we go. So I just don't want that to pop out of place, you know, as we hit bumps and stuff like that. Um, just because there's such a small clearance for the fan to go when it's spinning that uh, I don't want anything to mess up that. So just gonna super glue that and let that dry. So these are what I got. These are just the ratcheting clamps so I needed a small one and a bigger one so I I'll be honest I should have just got these right from the jump uh, I, I mean I didn't know so what do you do but so yeah while we're letting that glue dry we're just gonna put these in there there's two clamps on there so now those radiator hoses aren't going anywhere seems dry enough so gonna reinstall the fan shroud now when I was undoing the power plug for the fan uh, I broke the clips that held the cord place so as always we're just gonna zip tie that bad boy back on there Got it plugged back in, zip tight on. Just gotta fill it up now. Yeah, I did gold and purple. Just fun. It's all about fun, man. I love it. All right, where are we? We just need to finish filling up the coolant. Like I said, I did a lot of that the other night. So we just have to top it off, get all the air bubbles out. Of course, in order to do that, the coolant needs to be cycling through it. So the, the car needs to be on, which means I'm gonna have to open the garage. It's nighttime and it's freezing cold out. Just an extra safety precaution. I'm gonna set up this fan, pulling it right up my exhaust tip so it blows the CO2 out so it doesn't get trapped in the garage. Just, you know, safety first, right? probably here in the background my car is running the temperature is finally up to its regular running temperature so I'm not gonna try to talk while we're in there just because it's loud you'll see that the coolant levels have uh, risen as it's heating up there's no more bubbles coming up from the funnel which means that we should have gotten all the air out of the system and then while it's on we're gonna check the AC to see if that's still working so I'll walk you through all of that
We're gonna test the AC now. Let's see if it blows cold. All the way cold. High. AC on. Well, that is unpleasant. That is nice, cold, cold air. And I don't think it's just because it's coming from outside. That is, that is uncomfortably chilly. So, I am going to turn that off now. I'm really hoping that means my AC condenser isn't broken. It's mangled, for sure. So it needs to be replaced, but I don't think it's broken. So, hey, for budget, that's what I like to hear. Like I said, my AC condenser is mangled for sure. You can see in there, that big old dent. I had to hammer that a few centimeters forward just to uh, make sure I get my new radiator in there. So it's mangled, will need to be replaced for sure, but it still works and that's the good news. My horn wires, so it's that little guy. I need to figure out. Oh. Oh. Well, this might be a harder job than I thought. So that little guy goes into there. Into that hole. And this short broken cable. Yeah, that one needs to be re-soldered onto. Right there, that one. Uh-oh. The positive uh, wire had come loose. They had kind of, I, I just had to essentially trim it down and uh, re-solder that. So, I'll show you. <coughs> loud, super loud obnoxious horns for my obnoxious car. We did it. Well, besides that one. It's late now, so gonna go to bed. We'll take it off the jack stands, clean up and everything tomorrow, so. All right, you silly gooses. We did it, we finished it. It's all done. I need to get off jack stands, so I give my wife her garage back. So, here we go. That was awesome. Not really, but it is what it is, man. I barely know what I'm doing, okay? So, go and try it out. Honestly, that's what I want this channel to be about. You just freaking get after it. You have a dream, you wanna do something, you figure it out and you do it, all right? I've never replaced a radiator before. I figured it out. I made a few mistakes along the way. I have a half, maybe mostly ruined car. It's what it works though, and I keep it working, at least so far, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like, please subscribe, comment. I hope you guys subscribe, come on this journey with me. Love you guys, thanks for watching everybody. See you next time with whatever the heck I'm gonna be doing.